question is the ugliest uh, activity of mankind. Uh, that here we are in this uh, stage of our evolution and still have not solved the problem of how to get along with each other. Uh, it's oh, It always enters my mind. In any case, the part that I wanted to play in the, in the war was I, I never saw convincing photographs of the ugliness of war, the atrocity of war. And I left New Rochelle to go into the army with uh, this camera, the Argus C3, uh, thinking that I could take, perhaps, I would come across better photographs than I had ever seen before. So we have this noise overhead, aircraft, so... It's war. Um, it's war. Imagine yourself on the battlefield and you have your camera. Tell me what you're feeling and how you're seeing things and, and what you did. The first thing that, of course, I was to do uh, was to, uh, to kill, to shoot. You have in front of you 200 yards, 300 yards, half a mile, and you see Germans running across an opening, or they're running towards you, you shoot. And you see people falling. Uh, you have done something. And uh, the first few times that this happened, I was crying all the time, defending myself and crying. Why? Uh, many GIs went there and looked who they killed. They would search their pockets of the dead Germans, take photographs, wallet, whatever. I never went to look. I just stayed away. Uh, and that's how it was through the end of the war. I, I, would, I, I was not going to be part of this thing called the machinery of war. I just take pictures. I wanted to just take pictures. There are many things I could have picked up, but I never picked up uh, uh, souvenirs. I thought these were the greatest souvenirs I could pick up, photographs. Um, and it was the best camera for this job because I could take it apart whenever it was broken and I repaired it. I repaired it uh, hundreds of times, almost weekly. So, if I had a Leica, and the Leica would hit the ground along with me, and hit the ground, it would have broken, and it's so complex that I could never have repaired, and there would have gone my photographs. So, in unknowingly, I hit it on the nose with the right camera, the Argus C3, made in Lansing. And, and that camera is the one that you actually had on the battlefield. That's the Leica. That's the one. That's the, that's the one, yes. Uh, it had a nice case. It was destroyed. A strap, it was destroyed. And then eventually I, I would put... Uh, there, you see, there is once once the case is gone, there is no place. So I had it in my pocket all the time. Yeah. Now uh, there is something else. How I developed was four of these helmets. In the first helmet, I would put 
chemicals that I had mixed with water. Uh, normally you mix the water at 68 centigrade, mix the chemicals, but I didn't have anything to measure anything, distance or whatever. So it was all by nose, you know, I put my finger, seems to be okay, I threw the chemical in it, mostly the kind of salts, and I would turn it till they were uh, mixed. And, uh, and at night, under the darkness of night, I uh, took my uh, film out of the cassette. Cassette is a uh, This is, this is what's called a cassette, French word. I would uh, take the film, pull it out, rip it from the cassette. I would get the film, let's say that this is the film I got from it. And then uh, I would uh, put the film in, in the water, in chemical. The, I, I only had one chemical. It was the D76, a Kodak formula, and I mixed it and I would go like this in the water, in the chemical, for about 11 minutes and that was developed. Then I would go in the second helmet that had only water and I would rinse away the chemical, you see, like this. Then, uh, when uh, I did that for two, three minutes, very well washed, I go into the third helmet, which had the hypo. And this, I, was a, this was another soldier's helmet? Another soldier's helmet, yes. Mine was the first one. So I would do this, uh, and then I went into the fourth helmet that had only water. Later on, when uh, the the process was finished. I hung the negatives, the negatives now, no longer film, they're negatives. I would hang them by branches to dry, you see. And that's it. Next day I gave back the uh, helmets to everybody, but the guy who gave me uh, the one where I used the hypo, uh, he said, don't you ever ask me, because the hypo is very stinky. <laughs> Uh, chemical. So, I, from then on, I used my own helmet. And if you ever came close to me, you thought you were in a dark room. You see. <laughs> so they knew who was the photographer. And so, uh, little by little, uh, I photographed. Uh, enough film with uh, 8,000 photographs of World War II. And from this we uh, did some books that later I can show you. We did two books. One for the 83rd Infantry Division, my division, and one for my regiment, which was the 331st Infantry Regiment. Uh, that book was seen by Eisenhower, and it was a sentence from this letter by Eisenhower that gave me this last week. And the sentence was, um, can you stop here?